Have you ever heard that there is a fascinating object at the outer boundary of our solar system? The James Webb Telescope scientists discovered a gigantic 10th planet that is even bigger than Pluto. This discovery, in turn, is capable of altering what we consider as being known about space and might as well affect our comprehension of the cosmos. Let's unravel the mystery together. In just five years of its operation, the James Webb Telescope has already delivered groundbreaking space discoveries that far surpass the results of previous observatories. It's just absolutely incredible that this quite powerful telescope isn't giving any indication that it is ready for a break. It even outshines its recent discovery by NASA. It has discovered a habitable planet, which is beyond the limits of our solar system. It is the planet's size that most of the scientists at NASA found to be the most astonishing. The size of the planet is bigger than Pluto and is approximately the same as our planet's size when it comes to diameter. The John Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory researchers were curious about the phenomenon and therefore decided to use the JWST to investigate the planet by looking through several wavelengths of light. As a result of this report, Mark Clamping, the director of NASA's Astrophysics Division in Washington, remarked that it gives an opportunity that is unpredictable to explore rocky planets' atmospheres. It is just the beginning, and as the James Webb Telescope gives us a new understanding of Earth-like planets beyond our solar system, we can anticipate the additional discoveries to come. This team of scientists took a close look at a rocky exoplanet with the near-spec near-infrared spectrograph instrument on board JWST. They did not have to collect enough data on its atmosphere, but they could observe it is more than 100 degree warmer than yours. If clouds are found on the planet, ongoing study indicates that it could resemble Venus more than Earth. Additionally, the scientists found that an exoplanet's day is twice as long as an Earth day. In addition to its intense heat of more than 100 degree, scientists think it could still have an atmosphere. The James Webb Telescope found more gold in the data while researchers continued to pour into the specifics of this extraordinary exoplanet. Evidence of silica-rich clouds encircling a brown dwarf roughly 20 times bigger than Jupiter was discovered by astronomers. Astronomers were taken aback by this finding which also supported certain previously proposed ideas regarding these mysterious extraterrestrial worlds. Brown dwarfs are strange things that are too large to be considered normal planets, but fall short of the mass needed to become stars. They cannot burn regular hydrogen, but they can burn deuterium, a less frequent hydrogen isotope with an extra neutron, to produce heat and light. Astronomers became interested in this strange brown dwarf, designated VHS at 125 CB in the vastness of space. It orbits two tiny red dwarf stars in a beautiful dance, some 72 light years away from Earth. This mysterious object is located in the C-Pro or Corvus constellation. Strangely, scientists had found this extraterrestrial world back in 2016, which created a confusing scenario. Scientists were surprised by its unique reddish light. There were conjectures that the light came from a special mixture of the atmosphere. Eventually, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, verified their hypotheses, validating their conjectures. The telescope exposed intriguing details about VHS 1256b, showing thick silica-like clouds in its atmosphere. The JWST discovered gases such as carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, water, methane, sodium, and potassium in this unique world. Lead researcher Brittany Miles from the University of California, Irvine, expressed excitement, highlighting that JWST data provided exceptional detail, including gas ratios in VHS 1256B's atmosphere. Further analysis is expected to reveal more insights. Astronomer Sasha Hinley from the University of Exeter noted that methane and carbon monoxide ratios suggest turbulent mixing in VHS 1256B's atmosphere. Despite being a brown dwarf, its relatively small size hints at youthfulness. It takes an impressive 177,000 years to complete an oval-shaped orbit around its parent stars, covering a distance 360 times greater than Earth's distance from the Sun. Scientists and astronomers were thrilled to confirm their theories about a mysterious phenomenon. 
Now they're considering a daring mission using the powerful JWS telescope, reminiscent of the excitement in 2015 when evidence hinted at a ninth planet, later known as Planet X. Planet X remains unseen, existing as a theoretical concept that captivates scientists globally. Believed to be 10 times Earth's mass, it takes 10,000 to 20,000 years for Planet X to orbit the Sun. Its existence is inferred from disruptions it supposedly causes to nearby celestial objects, intriguing scientists eager to solve its mysteries. To unveil the truth, NASA is preparing the James Webb Space Telescope for a quest to study Planet X. The story began in 1846 with Neptune's discovery, leading to speculation about more planets beyond its orbit. Peral Eliel, a 19th century writer, believed in a ninth planet and left a $1 million bequest to support future missions, extending the quest for this enigmatic celestial body. LEL's observatory, back in 1930, discovered Pluto, initially thought to be Planet X. In 2006, Pluto lost its planetary status, and Planet X became the term for any unknown planet in space. Voyager 2's Neptune flyby briefly challenged the idea of Planet X, but a NASA scientist's calculations later showed that the outer planet's orbits were connected. This settled the debate, confirming that Planet X wasn't Pluto or the one Voyager 2 questioned. People stopped talking about Planet X for a while, but Caltech astronomers Vatican and Brown brought it back up. They used computer simulations and math models to explain weird orbits of five objects in the far Kuiper belt. They suggested a big celestial body, Maybe a new planet was causing this. This got planetary scientists and astronomy fans excited. Jim Green from NASA liked the idea, but said it's not confirmed yet. Just an early guess based on limited info. Not everyone agreed with Vatican and Brown. Physicists Schultz and Hahn had another theory. They thought a tiny black hole could mess up the orbits of rocky objects near Neptune. They said this black hole, like Planet X, might have come from a faraway star system and ended up circling our sun after getting close to our solar system. Some scientists think a tiny black hole might be similar to the mysterious planet X. Harvard researchers suggested this three years ago, saying strange orbits could be explained by a tiny black hole. This idea adds a new layer to our understanding of the cosmic dance in the universe. Another idea is that a planet called Planet X was once a friend to our Sun. Some even connect it to Nibiru, a planet at the edge of the solar system. But NASA says Nibiru is not real. Solving the mystery of Planet X is tough for scientists. They haven't figured it out yet, but they're hopeful. Mike Brown, a scientist, thinks we might find Planet X in the next year or two. But he admits he's said similar things before without success. In 2021, scientists questioned the idea of a hidden planet X. Physicist Kevin Napier and his team from the University of Michigan studied outer solar system objects and found their unusual orbits could be explained without a new planet. Some argue more data is needed to settle the debate. The Vera C. Rubin Observatory in Chile is on a 10-year mission to observe thousands of Kuiper Belt objects and may reveal if planet X exists. Dr. Harvey Loeb from Harvard suggests if the observatory finds a ninth planet and similar dwarf planets, it could support the idea that Planet X had a companion, challenging the belief in only one star in our solar system. The mystery of Planet X continues, and new theories on finding it are emerging. The James Webb Space Telescope might be a tool for this, but locating Planet X remains uncertain. Stay tuned for more. Stay tuned for more.